Hi, I'm Linda from Tax TV with a quick rundown on the 2011 NBA lockout and its tax impact on taxpayers and local communities. As you probably know, the lockout started on July 1st and ended December 8th. It was reported and estimated that the players collectively lost $350 million in pay during the lockout period and also resulted in $1 billion in lost television advertising revenues. It was said that each player lost on average $220,000. Assuming an effective tax rate of 30 percent for state and federal tax, that's $105 million in lost tax revenues from the players. Estimating net profits of 20 percent for media companies and trickling down of those net profits we conservatively figure $60 million in additional tax dollars lost. We also may want to know how the lockout affected 28 communities in the United States across 23 states with NBA teams. Following the previous example, if we assume that the players spent half their after-tax money on items resulting in sales tax at the rate of 5%, that would be a loss of sales tax revenues of more than $6 million. It was also reported that 400 NBA jobs were lost during the lockout period. Assuming these folks received average unemployment benefits of $1,400 per month during the two-month no-play period, that would be nearly $1.1 million in additional taxpayer costs. We know the NBA has rescheduled and reorganized the season to get to a 66-game season, which is 16 less games than usual. While the NBA will try to recoup the lost revenues by squeezing more games in, we can safely estimate that for the 2011 tax year, the NBA lockout had an impact to taxpayers of more than $172 million. Well, like it or not, that's our prediction for the end of this 2011 tax season. For more interesting stats and figures about tax, check out TaxTV.com.